My name is Jack Malarkey and I live in Dove Creek Development. We have a Dove Creek Homeowners Association. There are approximately 500 homes, I'm sorry, 250 homes that are inside of development. We would like to have the Homeowners Association abolished. In order to do so, 90% of the 250 people would need to vote for abolishment in order to have it abolished. So in order to do this, we had to break down, instead of talking to all 250 50 homes, we talked to a sample population of 50. And then from that 50, we broke down to find out who were owners and who were renters. And then we needed to break down based on if they were an owner, how long they had lived there. And that went from less than one year, one to two years, two to three years, and greater than three years. With that, we were able to determine what groups of people were interested in abolishment and which ones were not interested in abolishment. We also felt that we needed to have about 70 to 75 percent of the 50 people that we had spoken to interested in having the HOA abolished. So we needed to have a starting point. This would be a good determination whether or not we would be able to go forward, talk to all 250 people that lived in the neighborhood, and see if they were interested in having the HOA abolished. What we did determine was that of the 50 people we spoke to, the renters represented the lowest amount of people, but they were the highest amount that wanted to have it abolished. So we felt that anybody in the neighborhood that was renting would most likely vote for HOA abolishment. Therefore, we would not have to speak to them too much except maybe just to find out what their vote would be. We also found that people that lived there greater than three years were also greatly interested in having the HOA abolished, and they represented maybe about 30% of the population. And we felt, again, that same aspect that because that they had been there longer than three years, they had dealt with the HOA long enough, knowing that the HOA was doing very, very little for the neighborhood, and we would have very little issues in convincing them to vote for abolishment. Groups two and three, which were greater than one year and less than three years, represented the largest group of population that was inside of the development, which was about 57% of our sample population. With that being in mind, they were the ones that we felt would be the most convincing as well because they represented some of the lower numbers of around 60 to 65 percent that would be voting in favor of abolishment. So with that being said, it was easier to determine who we would need to focus on and who we would have to convince as to why we should have the HOA abolished and how it would benefit everyone inside the neighborhood. So this sample population of 50 gave us some good guidance in which we could go forward so that when we speak to the 250 people, as we go around and question everyone, we know who to concentrate on and who to try to convince. The nice thing is we know roughly who has been in the neighborhood for how long based on the areas of the neighborhood. So we know all this to do it. So it's a little bit easier also in determining that as we go around. When we talk to people based on the neighborhood, if somebody is new inside of an older part of the neighborhood, most likely they're a new owner. So if it's a different name from the original name, it's easier to determine. And again, we also know that people that have been there less than a year are in favor of abolishing. So it's made it very easy. So doing this statistical comparison and putting this presentation together has made it very easy for us to come together now as a small group of us are going to decide to push forward and try to have our HOA abolished since the HOA unfortunately is not doing anything. Thank you.